Oh, that'll hit. So it's going to do 22 damage, I think. 18 plus 7. Oh, yeah, 18 plus 7, so 30. No, 18 plus 25. 7. 25. 25. Yeah. I math good. I math <laughs> real good, guys. And then the other one, since you teleported then straight down 10 feet, this one is going to just gonna attack, take an attack opportunity from Serena. Wait. All uh, right. So the that guy had two hits then is what, you, what you're saying? Yeah, <sighs> they both have two hits. Okay. That was a miss. I thought yeah, you were saying the miss. first uh, golem missed and the, the first second one, one missed hit. twice. The All second right. one hit, and then oh, you it's... teleported because the yeah. cloak. I see. Okay. And he's going to attack again, and he will hit a second time for nine bludgeoning damage. So four, nine. You're not raging. Nine. I'm not raging. I will remember this. Alana's turn. All right. Alana will two steps over. The one all the way down here is the one that is hexed, so she's going to Eldritch Blast it twice. Okay. Can I recommend not standing there? <laughs> Why? I was going to fireball destroy the pylons. Why? Why? No. Because both the pylons times. are... Yeah, that so both times. 2d6. It'll take 19 force damage. Plus. Another 8 necrotic, necrotic. damage. Yep. Full on his turn. Well, um... Yeah, I can't safely fireball now. Damn. It's fine. Switching to a frost brand. Um, can you do that? Yeah. The bonus action. It's a you free have... action to use a uh, to draw a weapon, but you'd have to drop the other one. Yeah, it's doable. So you dropped. Um, yeah, I can take it back up. Okay. <laughs> it is with advantage, so. Yep, so that will hit. Just ignore the sunblade part. I and it will need. take. Yeah, I'll ignore the sunblade part. And it will take 15 damage between the piercing and the cold because Farspan is magic. Yes. Magic. Lily's turn. It's magic, man. Is he looking almost dead? This one down here is looking pretty bad. This one up here is looking only a little better. Everywhere. Well, let's uh, attack the one that I have advantage with. Okay. Oh, I'm not adding dex to that. There should be dex on the uh, damage. Oh, wait, added it to cold damage. Give me a moment, <laughs> I'm going to reword that. Go for it. Uh, that will indeed hit, and you will do 16, 20 damage. It is still alive. He is? Okay. Yep. Uh, whack it again. Um, uh, man. And I that'll am, hit. Well, you, you... Okay. You said that will hit? I, I feel like at this point you've seen that most attacks are hitting. The only one that's missed yeah. so far was a natural one. And that'll okay. hit, and as it goes through, the golem just kind of falls over to the ground in pieces. The various stitching holding him together you know, just fall uh, failing as he dies. Serena. Yep. So that one's dead. Let's just go and beat the shit out of this guy then. Uh, uh, can I can I second wind as a bonus? You can, yes. Okay. One, two. Let's hope I get a better roll this time around. Weapons, Thunderbrand. Yay! Nice. Wow. And he will take twenty damage between the two. But he kind of yeah. still standing there. He's kind of hurting otherwise, but he's intact. So now it's the flesh golem's turn. All four of the pylons are alight with electricity again, and they all, electricity just arcs all around him into the golem. And you can see that the pylons are getting more active now. As he heals for quite a bit of light, quite a bit of damage. Now, and the golem how do you see why I want to destroy the pylons? Mm -hmm. <sighs> and the golem just kind of roars with anger as it... Oh, what's it gonna do? It's gonna kinda just walk over here. No, it's gonna... It's gonna come down here. It's not actually gonna walk away from Millie. It's gonna walk on top of its friend. Move you to the back. 
It's not actually going to walk away from Melee, so only Serena will get the attack of opportunity. Yay. So, another attack of opportunity. Let's get another strike in. And... These guys have one other feature to them, but it's not even going to freaking matter. That'll hit, by the way. Oh, cool. <clears throat> so, take another 13 damage. Serena is pretty much the worst person for damage at this point, which is kind of sad. Oh, well. Yeah, it's not that surprising, to be honest. Um, You're more of a skull up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and he's going to raise his fist up, and he's going to punch Falana. That's going to miss. I have That's armor for a reason. Gonna miss. That's also <laughs> going to miss, but barely. And as this happens, everyone roll perception real quick. I'm gonna guess he's absorbing his buddy below him. Just roll a perception. We'll see. Um, I'm gonna use my DM, uh, my coffee inspiration, to reroll that. Fair enough. Nice. Uh, missing Serena's perception. So need a perception on her. Yeah, everybody right. gets it. I didn't. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Lost you for a second. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Everybody but Falana sees this. So right here, where Falana had dropped the Sunblade to draw out Frostbrand, you see this little grate lift up a moment as a spittly little leg goes up and grabs the hilt and then disappears back underneath the grate. Well, to be fair, it's not using it. <laughs> <sighs> Lily is going to say, something stole your weapon. Alana. It's now Alana's turn. This is why I stopped dropping my weapons. I'm switching the hex over and pull back up the sheet. Move the hex over and boop boop. Nice. Alright. And then an extra 2d6. Yeah, that's going to be pretty decent damage. Yeah. Alright, so I got well, a little bit damage. 20. So with that, as the golem had moved over, you raised your hand back up and set two blasts of force into its side. You damn near take its arm off with the, uh, with the pair as it hits its shoulder. The creature, however, is still alive. Not for long, though. Hold on, turn. Alright, well, as much as my weapon is important, I'm not going to ignore this thing. If Terra's focused on me, that's a little dangerous. So it's, it's already gotten rid of the health it healed, so... Uh, I... mm -hmm. Aha! Yeah, mm -hmm. That's right. <clears throat> and you take the uh, frostbin one more time. You stab forth into the creature, and you just kind of bring the sword down once more, and the entire flesh seems to freeze, almost freezer burn, as this happens. The golem just kind of standing there for another like two seconds where it collapses over on the ground. Dead once more. Alright, time to go open that grate and hunt down whatever took that left. Alright, so you roll over, or you go over to the grate and roll an investigation, because from first glance you can't really tell how to open it. I gotta go kill a bitch. This is what you get for dropping your weapons. <laughs> Looking at it, you discover that there is what appears to be a little catch on it. And undoing the catch, you manage to open it up and discover that this is a very small area underneath the grate. Like, if you were a halfling, you might be able to squeeze through it. How long does it enlarge reduce work? Uh, let me look at the duration on that. Uh, what's going on with the pylons while she's doing that? Um, as the last uh, golem fell, the pylons are still spinning up. In fact, yeah, they're still spinning up, but with nothing... Like, looking at the golem, you saw there were, like, lightning rods embedded into its necks. With nothing really to aim to, now that the, light, the um, lightning rods in the necks have been destroyed as they fell, they kind of just slowly start to spin back down. Mm -hmm. One minute. Lily's going to tell everyone to back away from the pylons, and she's going to come over to this one. And once everyone's out of, you know, as far away as they can get, she's going to smash it. Okay. Which I'm going to release my cat, and let the cat track down the bastard. Okay. 
So, <laughs> is Serena going to step away as well? Yeah, probably. All Might right, so well. first things first. Lily, you were going to try to smack the thing now that it's spinning down? Yep, she's going to use her maul. All right, so you bring them all up, and you bring it down on the pylon, and you can just hear the satisfying sound of, like, crunching metal, parts being just shimmied together, all that stuff. And then about two seconds later, the thing explodes. <laughs> the other Fun three really. pylons in the room exploding in a chain, with the, going from down to up, just exploding one by one. Thankfully, everybody else had walked away. You, however, are going to take... <laughs> oh, somebody was prepared. <laughs> Just for the scratch. Two piercing damage. <laughs> two piercing damage. I, I can't even say anything against that now. Ha. Uh, I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. But I am sending my cat oh, after. Damn, Reese, I was going in what was going to happen with the cat next. Okay, I'll hold it. I'll hold it just a little bit. <laughs> Cross your legs, Reese. <laughs> You have no way to actually keep track of the cat, do you? Or are you just sending it in? I'll send it in. It can communicate empathically, so I'm not too worried. I'll know what's going on with it. All right, so you send it in, and it kind of you get telepathic messages back about this long, winding path, and it's like almost a maze of various corridors down here. And it kind of stop. It mentions like it, you can hear it stopping at a crossroads, and it's kind of looking around trying to figure out which way to go but then all you get from it is a screech of pain and then nothing where was it when that happened somewhere assuming up is north somewhere south of you you don't know where exactly alright it's so, not in the same room it's probably gone 50 feet away yeah excuse me don't mind me so, well, they're not going to be using these to bring back any more monsters, at least. Uh huh. This door. All right, and that door is locked. And it has that weird little around. keyhole on it as well. Yeah. Um, can. Can we check through that room and see if we can find the key or anything that resembles a key? You can spend some time investigating, yes. Okay. All right. We'll wait. I'm going to investigate this door. All right. So, roll in your investigations. I'm getting really lucky with some of these rolls. <laughs> you are. So really investigating around, you don't really find anything else of particular note in this room other than more explicit notes on how to create the flesh golems. Basically, I mentioned you use the um, a manual of instruction. It's like takes the, the time and money necessary to do it, and the final step involving burning the manual and scattering its ashes over the golems. Um, various other notes around how like they, they dislike fire, how they're known to go berserk. Um. Lightning obviously fuels them. You kind of figured that out on your own. <clears throat> um, Lily's going to take... All, all right, I'm going to the bathroom now. All of the yeah. instructions, and, and uh, she's just going to take them away from the golems because uh, she doesn't know if that's going to reanimate them, and she's going to burn them with her sword. She's going to make sure there's nothing left of them. Yeah, fair enough. <clears throat> um, I feel like there's... Oh, yeah, the only other thing about them is that they were all signed... With the name, like the name was kind of written off, or like kind of, the notes themselves weren't in the best condition, water dripped and everything, but you could see it was signed by in high, in like a, yeah, high Inquisitor, and then his name is just kind of all muddy and you couldn't read it properly. Uh -huh. I'm not using this as an excuse for the fact I don't have his name. Of course not. <sighs> you swear. You swear. I swear. All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then you're all going to head back and investigate this room more. Yep. yep. And that doorway there is unlocked. Woo! All right, let's take a step forward, and it's nearly empty. Yeah, there's two more doorways in it. There's not really much in here. There's overgrowth <clears> on the <throat> ground. There's a doorway going down, and looking next to the doorway, you see that there's actually a um a sign on it, or the sign in common explains that this is 
I'm back. Explains, um, yeah, the sign on common next to the doorway down below is, please do not waste time fornicating in the shower rooms. Management thanks you. <laughs> Is it really and a below that, time? And below that, there is another sign. Whomever is leaving all the grime on the ground, we are aware. Please stop. Are the doors uh, locked? The door down is not locked. No, as you try to open it, it'll open right up. Revealing, indeed, what looks to be at least what used to be a bathroom. And this Showers. Is, I'm going to search this showers out. more than anything. There's also more doorways around there. I'm going to investigate for her. <clears throat> that door, that doorway is unlocked. You wish to open it? Yes. Which one, the upper one or the lower one? And both of them are unlocked. You open both of them. <laughs> Putting this one. <laughs> that one's also unlocked. Don't get too far ahead. Um... Opening this one. <laughs> also unlocked. You didn't do any investigations in this place. I will once I check everything. I'm just trying as tough as I can. Yep. Oh, hi guys. All right, investigating everything. There's another room over here. Okay. So investigating this room. Roll your investigation checks, by the way, everyone. I'm okay. gonna investigate this. Um, room. Yeah, that's more like Lily. Really? <clears throat> You have never seen a bathroom like this. You have no idea what you're looking at. You think it really might be a shower, but you're not sure. Serena, you're investigating that room up there? I suppose. it's There's not really much she can do anyways. Not really that much in there. Some grimy stuff on the water. or yeah, Some grimy stuff on what would have been the uh, showers, etc., etc. Nothing too fancy other than that. Alana, you're investigating that room? Yes, no? Everything. All right, so I was asking Alana, but Alana, since you, especially uh. since you especially since you rolled a twenty-two, you discover that Alana in this room that you're in currently, in that center grate, you spy the gleam of a ring. You know what, Alana, help me out. You're gonna <laughs> reach down to get the ring. Take off the grate, of course. Okay. Then reach down. We okay. can fish it out with a string or a fish <sighs> but As you reach down it. to try to fish out that ring, a huge mass of black ooze streams out and tries to cover your arm. Mm -hmm. Ow, it crits. Oh, jeez. Oh, wait, I gotta stay here. Can I, everyone, please stop moving Serena, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I move back. You take, yeah, you take 10 bludgeoning damage and 30... Four acid damage. Night. I think we lost Falana. Yep. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> that much acid. Right. Did both Alana and Falana take that, or just Falana? Just Falana. Just Falana. This is what you get for greed. You should have asked the uh, the dragon who resists acid to do this. You didn't know. How were you supposed to know? By the way, I everyone know. roll initiative. I know. I, I, I'll be quiet now. I'm sorry. Out of the anything. various grates in each room, a large mass of black ooze streams out. Oh, good. Lily can see one of them. <laughs> well, I'm going to die. i got to reload this freaking map. Um, I'll be right back. I'm going to see if I can't find clothes for Roll the Roll initiative kid before you do so, please. Roll initiative before you do so, please. Thank you. Well, right. yeah. Well, you got my death saving throws, JB. Yep. Speaking of which, start with the death saving throw. She has filled her first death saving throw. Ugh. That was a nasty crit. Yeah, I think Le Sir, uh, Alana's dead. Not Alana, Falana is dead. Unless one of us can get to her. Alright, well, Lily, Lily is up. <laughs> Lily yep. uh, sees this ooze coming out and she's going to rush in 
And um, this is Falana's sheet, which was why things didn't make sense. All right, she's going to. Uh, none of these weapons will be good for it. Just gonna attack it twice, and on that <sighs> second one. Wait, hold, hold that thought, Jeeves. You don't let let me resolve the first attack before you do the second. Sure. It'll be in your benefit, believe me. Yeah. So this first attack goes through, and you slice the fiery great sword right across it. The flames, of course, look across it, doing a little bit of damage. However, the slicing through, you feel like you've done no damage whatsoever. In fact... Come on. There's now two of them. God damn it, grab the right thing. Uh -huh. There's now two of them where there used to be one. Uh-huh. So now, you would you wish to do something different with your second attack? Knew that wasn't going to be good. All right. Um, <clears throat> I didn't take any damage or anything. Um, I was expecting actually, you are going to take some damage from that first one. Yes, you're going to take seven acid damage. Well, uh, she is going to back away then and take the attack of opportunity, I guess. Um, okay. Yeah, and this is this is pretty. And it will bad. miss because I'm of back. And she's gonna stow her uh, stow her uh, sword. I think okay. the sword. I, th I don't know. Is the sword a magic weapon? It is. <clears throat> wow! Shit. Yep. Basically, you cut it in half, and now there's two of them. Okay, so that means Serena should not use a sword. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have that move down there. So, that was it for Lily, sir? Yes. Yes, no? Yes. <clears throat> All right. The one that was down here next to Falana, the ooze is going to kind of ignore her for the moment. It's going to turn and try to strike at Ilana. And that will hit. And you will take 8 bludgeoning damage and 26 acid damage. Hey. Seems this place had a pretty bad crime problem. Wouldn't you agree? I actually think we can't win this. <laughs> no, I don't think we can. we can. Yeah, I think... I don't think we can, especially with if Alana. Alana goes down, yeah, if, if Alana, Alana goes down, we can't. Yeah, and these two are going to try to move next to Serena. Both will attack her. Miss. Miss. This one down here. How far can it move? 20 feet. It's going to kind of move up here. Mm, it's going to move this way, actually. Orchard jellies are a little OP from that out there. Orchard jellies. These are black, um, black, black puddings. That's even worse. Where? Yeah. <sighs> Because yeah, only fire works on them, really. No, and... not, fire isn't the only thing that works on them. There's plenty that works on them. Yep. You just you just were in a bad position and took a crit, and Lily used the wrong weapon. Serena, you're up. Well, <laughs> that means that Serena uh, doesn't have the right weapon out, and so she can't do anything. Anything except for she'll she'll take out her she'll take out her warhammer and. Uh, she can put away her Thunderbrand and take out her Warhammer, but can't attack, so... You could drop the Thunderbrand if you wished. No. <laughs> you could stow a weapon and use magic. That's yeah, you could use magic. Um, Radiant should do enough damage. Uh... Let's see. Actually... Ah, oh, dang. Can I get past this guy? Like to go down? No. Damn it. Uh, Lily did call out and and let everyone know that this place does loop around before the fight. That's so you could probably go left and try to reach. Yeah, yeah, but that's not what I was. That's I was wanted to get there faster. All right, Serena's gonna stow her blade and you... then just and then just move. Are you gonna disengage? Wait, get... uh... Or use magic or what? 
Um, you have Sacred Flame. Yeah. I think Serena's oh, gonna... Here I think Serena's gonna use uh, Sacred Flame on the one directly to her right. Sacred Flame on the one directly to her right. This These one. These things have crap for dicks. Any wow, he almost passed that still. <laughs> but he will fail it. He will take 14 radiant damage. <sighs> okay. And Serena's just gonna take the two attacks of opportunity and start moving. Okay. So, Remember 15. your reaction if you take damage. I'm aware. Tech for opportunity, miss. Tech for opportunity. That'll hit. Oh. So you're going to take six bludgeoning damage. Yeah. And then 18 acid damage, but you have that, I do believe. I, I Racial passive, I believe, is resist acid. Yeah, so you take half that, so you're only going to take nine. So and if you wanted total? to use your... One five. So in how total, much? you were going to take... No, in total, she was going to take um, nine and six is 15. Yeah, 15. Wait, no. Yes, mm -hmm. 15. 9 and 6 is 15. Oh, it was 18 acid damage, was it? Yeah, 18 acid damage, half that is 9. Okay, I'm, I misunderstood. So, yeah, I'll use the... the where is it? Class Wrath action. of the Storm <coughs> is yeah. the name of it. And do you want to do lightning or thunder damage? Choose wisely. Okay, there's slimes... Lightning. Okay. <sighs> and as the lightning surges back through the lower one, which was the one to hit, it takes no damage. You it is cut in half. Poor. Yeah. <laughs> but they are even smaller now. They are now small in size. I'm going to give this one a thing to signify it's actually bigger. I'll give it a. I'll give it a purple dot to signify it's medium sized. Okay. And I'm still not quite done moving. I was just waiting, so. Yep. 15 again. So down here. Oh. I was doing the right. Okay. okay. This is good. Okay. That's our right. turn. All right. Alana's turn. Actually, unless Serena had a healing or um, a bonus actually she wanted to do. Uh, did the sheathing her weapon take her bonus? No. No, that's a free action. Okay. So you could still use a healing word if you really wanted to. Uh, I don't think you can see Falana yet, though. I can't see Falana fully. I don't. It, I can see. If you can part. see part of her, I'll allow it. I can see the bottom part of her token on her name, but if you can see the bottom part of her token, then I'll allow it. Yes. Primarily because that is in a really bad situation. Otherwise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go with a. Uh... Level two healing word. So before in addition two. So, so eight HP. Lana is gonna get eight HP back. Yeah. <sighs> so I picked the wrong so I picked the wrong thing and uh god damn it. Yes. Now where there was one there are three. Granted they all have less health, but yeah. But I also didn't deal any damage to their health. <laughs> yeah. So, um... You did the Radiant Alana, damage. it is... No, it's, it's Alana's turn. I gotta go back to Alana now. Yeah, so it's actually Alana's turn, so... Alana, what are you gonna do? Alta? Did he fall Alta's asleep? Gone. Did he mute? He might have fallen asleep. He's, he's I'll not be right muted. Again. Alta! Do you want me to do whatever Alta would do? Alta is typing, oh. so if you're talking, we can't hear you, so. Yeah. <sighs> my mic is working. Alright. There, 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 there we go. There, now we can hear you. Apparently, my mic, uh, my no, cord had, like, gone out just enough that the mic, the headset was still working, like, I could hear things, but my mic wasn't. Uh huh. Mm, cool. It was. My. I can't okay, hear my you question. Alto. Yes. Again? What was your question? Okay, um, my question was what? Dagger of Haste, bonus action or action to activate? I never said I don't believe. Wait, oh jeez, this is weird. I can't hear Alto at all. I never said. Give me a second, and I don't know what to tell you, Earth. Uh, <laughs> what I want to look at then, I want to look at the... 
I'm going to look at the item I had the inspiration for it from, which is in one of these freaking, here it is. Back. <clears throat> so I based it off of Lightning Glaive. It would be action. It would be just casting haste. Haste. Okay. So... <clears throat> Let me see. Yeah, I think I know what I'm going to do. Oh, there I'm we back. go. I can All right. Now. This is only recent. Yes. All right. I'm going to do that. Get past haste on myself. All right. Use the second There's action. There's also concentration, keep in mind. All right. So use the action I gained from that to disengage. Okay. And kind of just scooch up <laughs> here. That's oh jeez. <laughs> uh yeah, like right there. All right, that it for your turn then. Yeah, because right. I was thinking it'd be a bonus. Alana, you might want to stand up. Yeah. Uh, okay, I wasn't muted. I am going to go ahead, stand up, right okay. out. 